Today we are going to make a stepper motor sequencer with direction control with ModelSim. On page 603 in the Digital Electronics textbook, the VHDL code that is being used is pictured. First, we are going to have to open up Cordis Prime 2. Create a new project and save it in a folder called State Stepper. Name the project State Stepper. Choose the FPGA board EP4CE115F29C7 in the Cyclone IVE family. Under tool name, choose Model Sim Altera and under Formats, use VHDL. Create a new VHDL file. Looking at the VHDL code in the book, write out each line in the VHDL file. In this case, I already had it copied. Make sure the entity names are the same as the file names. Then compile the VHDL code. Under Assignment Settings, make sure your tool name is Model Sim Altera and Format is VHDL. Under More EDA Netlist Writer Settings, make sure your Generate Function Simulation Netlist is on. 
Under More Native Lang Settings, make sure the location of your file is in the box. Click Apply. Now let's open the model set. Click Jumpstart and create a new project. Enter the project name and browse for the file. Add an existing file. Browse for the file and your file will be the text document. Click on the file and compile, compile selected. Once compiled, hit simulate. Under work, click on your file. Under objects, click on all of them and add them to your wave. Now we're going to look at the waveform in the book to see what we have to make in ModelSim. Click the input CLK and go to Clock. We want our period to stay at 100, but the first edge to be falling, just like the waveform in the book. Now click on the direction input and click force. We want this to be forced high. Now we are going to start the simulation. Our simulation is set to run only 100 picoseconds at a time. We only have one period simulated and we need a total of seven periods, so we're going to run the simulation six more times. Once we have seven periods simulated, we're going to go back to direction, click force, and force it low. Now we are going to run the simulation for seven more periods.
Notice how the waveform in the book and the waveform we just created are an exact match. And that is how you simulate a stepper motor sequencer in ModelSim.